Carol Orzel was fierce. She truly relished the spotlight. She was always perfectly well-dressed, perfectly made up. She was not going to let her disability stop her. Not in life or death. For 58 years, Carol lived with fibrodysplasia ossificans progressiva, or FOP, a disease which caused her soft tissues to turn to bone. She was one of only 900 or so cases worldwide. Her intimate knowledge of this condition never went to waste. She was extremely passionate about education and she would go and lecture at medical school classes. It was up to curator Anna Doty to help oversee Carol's final wish to continue educating generations of medical minds by being here on display at the Mütter Museum next to fellow FOP patient Harry under one condition, of course. She was known for her costume jewelry. She had bling everywhere. She loved it. You'll find some of her favorite jewels on display next to her skeleton and her biography. On the day she went public, her friends from Inglis House, where she lived, remembered her with some tears, but mostly laughs and smiles. Her best friend, Mary Hittner, was there too. This, she said, was great. Exactly what Carol wanted. Carol was Dr. Fred Kaplan's first FOP patient. Not only did they discover the gene that caused Carol's condition together, his research has led to three clinical drug trials, which doctors hope will one day eradicate FOP. From now until eternity, the Philly girl and all of her contributions will live here. We're so excited because not only is this something that she wanted, it was her wish, but it's going to immensely add to our understanding of FOP and the public's understanding as well. Pamela Osborne, NBC 10 News.